Today we're using a mini excavator. In this case, it's a Takahuchi TB250. It's about a 10 or 11,000 pound machine. And in a general way, you wanna have one pound of equipment weight for every foot pound of torque that you're working with. This machine puts out 25 gallons a minute as far as the flow rate. Whereas this drive head would probably take 50. We really don't want to put 50 into it because it would turn it too fast. We want the anchor to install at 10 or 15 RPM. 20 or 25 gallons a minute is normal for a machine this size. It'll put out 3000 PSI, which incidentally is the maximum PSI for this drive head. You can, if you have a Caterpillar that puts out 3500 PSI, you can get a drive head that will take 3500 PSI. Generally, we want to match the drive head to the equipment first thing. Like I said, that's a 10, 11,000 pound machine. So I want a 10 or 11,000 foot pound drive head. Most of the machines today are plumbed for auxiliary just as this one is. You need a bi-directional auxiliary. If it's got the old button in the floor for a hammer circuit, it's just on and off. It doesn't go forward and backward. It's not good for our purposes. Flat face quick connects are normal in today's world. American machines almost always have flat face when they come with them. A Takahuchi or something, you'll have to put them on. I put a T and an attachment for a uh, pressure gauge. I only use this for diagnosing problems with my drive head. I do not use it except its criteria for a new construction pile. The bale, when you order a bale, you need to be sure and tell your supplier the width of your boom and the diameter of your boom pin so that they can match the bale to the drive head. Some bales that you get from uh, manufacturers will take two pins and hook the dump link and the boom pin. That's, that's good too, but again, you still need to know the width of the boom, the diameter of the boom pin. When you're installing, we pivot forward and backward on this pin. We pivot left and right on this pin so it acts like a dangle digger and hangs plumb. Hex adapter, it goes on the hex output shaft. There's a hex output shaft on here. In this case, it's a three inch. Measure it. If you own your own machine and you're ordering a hex adapter, measure the output shaft so that you, you get the right hex adapter. And they get down to the eighths. So, I mean, there, there's not much difference in the two and a half and a two and five eighths. So measure it carefully. Digital torque indicator, pretty much a must in today's world. And then whichever tool that uh, works for the material you're driving that day please visit the Hubble Power Systems website to view all HPS Anchor Pile installation products or call customer service.